So this is your charging station. Well, you don't have no oil, you got no engine. Bus is on. You hear that? That's the sound of, <laughs> of nothing. Wow. <laughs> So this is this is the noise level right here. Right, and it's on wow. and it's ready to drive. Well, I've been the one that's doing pretty much all the testing because a lot of drivers they're afraid they don't want to tear them up. But when the guy showed me, it's just like driving a regular bus. So okay. I've been driving them on different routes for us to see which routes they'll be um, better fitted for. Mm -hmm. So so far we have about five routes that we will be able to use these buses on. I started driving buses when I was senior in high school. So I went from a 1999 um, diesel to a 2024 electric bus. And the buses have been coming ever since school started. They just got here in December. So this is one of our stops. I always like tinkering with stuff, so for me it's been fun. I get to drive a different bus every day if I desire. Um, I think my funnest moment is I pulled up to a stop and the parent was like, Hey, is your bus running? Because it makes no noise. Being an avid golfer, I've, I've driven a lot of golf carts, so it's just a, a, a giant golf cart to me. Uh, I'm just excited about the, the transitioning of, of from diesel power to electric power. It amazes me how an electric motor can generate so much power. And push a school bus down the road. So when I when I was a kid, we didn't get a phone in our house until I was like twelve. And now you look at twelve year olds; they have a phone in their pocket. So you know it's it's how far we've come in, since just 1966. And then that makes you think how far we can go in the next few years.